Hello guys, I here present a new game, Kid Jaran, and if the first four chapters are very easy to pass, then next chapter is becoming harder and harder, but I know how to help you to pass them. So guys, in this video I will show you skills that will boost your damage and will help you to kill enemies faster, and tell you which skills are better to avoid because they can lower your attack. In game we have 39 skills and I divided them on a few groups. The first group of skills increases the number of your attacks. Twin Fire skill gives one extra attack on weapon attack, but not all of you know that this skill decreases your attack for all attacks on 25%. So if one Twin Fire in most cases increases your attack, then two Twin Fires will decrease it. And Twin Fire is powerful with combo skill, which causes weapon to attack twice for each attack. To make it more understandable for you, I'll do some calculations from one of my runs. My attack is 20 and I chose Twin Fire, so my attack became 15. But as Twin Fire gives one extra attack, my total damage is 30. Later I got combo skill that causes weapon to attack twice, so we shoot for projectiles which in total do 60 damage. As you can see guys, by using these two skills I tripled my attack and if I had another combo skill my attack would be 90. But there are some situations when you should avoid Twin Fire skill. Prone shot skill fires diagonal arrows and if you use an iron boomerang and it doesn't really lower your attack, then in case with Frost Wand, I do not recommend to choose Twin Fire. Give me a minute and I'll explain why. As you can see, when you use Frost Wand, all your arrows fly at target enemy, so your diagonal arrows are not really diagonal anymore. And the thing is, Twin Fire lowers their damage. I will calculate again to show you that Twin Fire is not needed if you use Frost Wand. For example, your attack is 100, with diagonal arrows it is 300. Now we add Twin Fire, it gives one extra attack but lower damage on 25% for each arrow. So we will have 4 arrows doing 75 attack or 300 in total. As you can see, total damage is the same and when you will choose to this combination combo skill, it will just lower your damage while in case without Twin Fire skill, it will be much higher. Split skill, splits attack on enemy hit and split attacks do on 50% lower damage. At the beginning it's a good skill as in some stages you have many enemies, but for a final boss I wouldn't choose it. Because you won't do any damage to a boss or mobs as they are not standing on the same line. And the last arrow skill is ricochet, weapon attacks bounce once on hit and bounce projectile does the same damage. A very powerful skill especially helps with boss fights. Most bosses are not really hard to beat, it's just hard to avoid their projectiles with mobs projectiles. But when mobs are defeated, it is very easy to avoid boss projectiles and kill him. Next group contains Shadow Warrior skills. I like them much and at the same time I don't choose them. The problem of using them, when you fight in case a boss or a few mobs, you have to avoid many projectiles and with Shadow Warriors it's really hard. Because you may think that the Shadow Warrior is your character and instead of avoiding projectiles you just receive damage. Anyway, it is good to use them when you farm or have enough health to receive many projectiles. So the first Shadow Warrior is Phantom, it summons Kenai. For this skill choose Enhanced Kenai as it enhances Kenai damage. Another skill which you should choose with Phantom and any other Shadow Warriors is Shadow Warrior Empower. It greatly increases all Shadow Warrior damage. Next Shadow Warrior summons Holy Light. It doesn't look powerful, but there is a next level for this skill. So what do you need? To get Shadow Warrior Light of Judgment skill, you need two Shadow Warrior skills and they don't have to be both with Holy Light, only one of them. So when you choose this skill, you fuse two Shadow Warriors and they become the Imperial Shadow Warrior. Just look at this skill in action and it can be even more powerful and looks more impressive with Enhanced Holy Light skill, which enhances Holy Light damage. And the last Shadow Warrior summons Flame, there are also two levels, but to get Shadow Warrior Heaven's Fire skill, you need two Shadow Warriors with Flame, so when you fuse them, they become the Skyfire Shadow Warrior. We have 5 offhand skills and two of them do elemental damage, they are offhand Bolt Strike and offhand Flame, all of them are great and do a good damage to enemies. Offhand Kunai fires for Kunai and it is better with Enhanced Kunai skill, but even with this skill it's not very useful because mostly Kunai don't reach targets. The same thing I can say about offhand Holo Light, even with Enhanced Holo Light skill. Damage is good of course, but Light goes straight and you don't often stay in front of enemies. We also have elemental skills, there are only two, Bolt Strike and Fire. Both of them are good addition to arrow skills. As in any game, we have attack, attack speed, health and crit up skills, but in Kinjaran we have three boosts for every skills, for example we have small increase in attack, medium and large. I think all of you understand that large heal is better to choose than small or large crit is better than medium crit. 
Next group contains only two skills and the first is Omni Boost. It increases all stats, like attack speed, crit. So always choose it. And the second is a last stand. When health is below 40%, damage is increased by 40%. I cannot say that this skill is very useful, because it depends on how you play. Anyway, I like it and almost always choose it. And to the last group I added skills that restore your health or can revive you. Skills which can save you. Firstly, I recommend you to choose always, unless you are farming or chapter is very easy. But the last skill, Bloodthirsty, isn't useful in this game, because you don't meet a lot of enemies on your way. And guys, there is only one skill, which I can figure out what it really does. While Fall skill increases elite monster and boss health regen. Is it a skill for enemies or what? Because it sounds so. Write in comments your thoughts about this skill. So guys, there were all 39 skills. If you want more video guides for Kinjaran, then like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet.